Well, tonight Snodgrass is on paid administrative leave. This happened on March 13th in Hot Springs. Tonight we're hearing from the victim who is pressing charges. I never thought of me being targeted for this kind of crime. Liam Newman says on March 13th, he was outside of the Oak Lawn Racing Casino in Hot Springs waiting for an Uber when he was approached by Benjamin Snodgrass twice. He threatened me again, said he's going to kill me and kill my kind of people. So I and then he grabbed me from my shirt, grabbed hold of me, Stop pushing me, so I put my hands up. I said, don't touch me, leave me alone. Newen says he hit back in self-defense while a witness called the police. 4029 News tried to reach Snodgrass and his attorney for an interview today, but did not get a response. But according to police documents, Snodgrass admits to the police on March 13th that he confronted Newen about not being American and said nothing had happened. It's... This whole idea of reducing someone um, and reducing their identity based on how they look and based on their perceived geography. Eugene Khan is the president of the Asian Pacific Americans Employee Impact Group at the University of Arkansas. She says next Thursday, the group is holding a public forum to discuss crimes to Asian Americans from the past year. I think um, that is a huge step for me. I, I often find that incidents like these are underreported or minimized. Both Khan and Nguyen says it's time to take political action and have open conversations with the Asian community. It doesn't matter what race it is. Everybody is supposed to be here. It's a land of the free. It's an opportunity. In Bentonville, Mayor Orman did release a statement today saying the city does not condone or tolerate any form of discrimination or violence. Live in Bentonville, I'm Kendall Ashman, 4029 News. Wow. Kendall, thanks.